Hello everyone, it's Nathan here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your grip on your baseball bat. Now, um, if you already have grip on it, then the first thing you're going to want to do is take that off. Um, which is fairly, should be fairly simple, because you just pick at the top, at the part, and you just unwind it, because there should be like electrical tape or something at the top that's holding it together. Not really, t I'm not holding it together, but you guys, you guys know what I mean, hopefully. That's keeping it on the bat. And then, sometimes it can take a while if it keeps, if the tape keeps tearing apart, but it shouldn't be that bad. Gotta say as I'm struggling with it. Okay, I think I finally got it. There we go. Alright, I think what you want to do is just take it off. Um, now, depending on what kind of grip you have, it could come off in one piece like this, or it could just rip apart and shred, but I think this one comes off pretty easily. So, I'm just going to take the full grip off. And most bats come with grip on them, so just, like I said, take the grip on your bat off. Now, as you can see, it can leave residue on the bat. Um, now, no, that's not really that big of an issue, but if you want to, it's recommended, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, but you can go ahead and clean this up and rub rub the stuff off if you want to, but for the sake of the, for the, sake of the video, I'm not going to because it'd be too time consuming, so. Yeah, it's no good, you can't play like that. And you're just gonna open up your lizard skin. Well, it doesn't have to be lizard skin, but I like lizard skin. And instructions are, Somewhat easy to understand, but not really that easy. So um, then you are going to take this little, should be like a little plastic wrap on the top of it right here. Yeah, here it is. And you're just going to peel that off around it. And then there should be this. This little strip right here. Now, <clears throat> you're gonna save this. Don't put that on yet. And then what you're gonna do is just unwind this. And for this part, I recommend going like this and like setting the bat on something stable or sturdy like that. So, just gonna lift this up. I'm just gonna scoop my tripod back. And so I recommend standing something up on it. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna unwind it a little bit and make sure that the um the angled side is like is um the how it's like angled like this, you're gonna make sure that, that side is up like that. And um, I think I'm actually gonna try um, like set this on my desk so it's easier for you guys to kind of see it. So let me do that. And let me see. Let me just see if you guys can see the top of the bat just like that, or like the handle. I can't. All right, so I'm just gonna move this up like that. Okay. Uh, 
So what you're going to do is you're just going to take the angled part and you're just going to put it right here. Kind of like that. Just make sure that where it's angled is up here. And it's like you put it flat and then go down. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So I recommend doing this like in sections, not all at once. So like you take part of this off and just go ahead and get this part like really set first to how you want it. Because you can take it off of, like, and put it back on a couple of times, but I don't really recommend doing that because it loses the stickiness of it. So just go ahead and put that there. Just wind it around until you eventually overlap on it. And then that's when you start angling it downward like that. When you peel more off, Oops. keep going down. You want to make sure that it overlaps on it each time so there's no gaps in between it. Just like this. And like I said, you can take it off a couple times and put it back on, but you really want to make sure that you're getting it, like, you want to, you also want to make, another thing is you want to make sure that you're pulling it, like, super tight, like that, so that there's no bubbles or anything. And I got a little too much, so I think I'm just going to kind of just wrap it around right here a couple times, or I'll keep going up. What the heck? Okay. And then you can see it angles again. I just want to wrap it like this. Get it somewhat straight, and we've got our lizard skin on. And now, if you get that strip that we saved, this right here, then you can put that on right here. So, let me just go ahead and move the camera down a little bit, like that. And we're just going to make sure that it's level all the way around when you wrap it. And, and make sure there's no air bubbles. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, never mind. I can't really unwind it because it's paper dripping. That's why I don't really like to unwind it a whole lot. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to take this off. And I like to have the logos upside down when I'm doing this. So that when, like, if I'm holding the bat, like, normally when I'm going to swing, you can see the stuff on it. So then just... Wrap that around. And then right here you can like do whatever you want. You can write your number, your initials, your name. You can write whatever. And um, it's not a super good job, but I think it's pretty good. So then after that, you can put on your batting gloves. And then you are ready to bat. I've also got brand new batting gloves as well because one of my other ones tore up. Actually, just real quick, I'm gonna I'm showing you the new ones that I have on right now, but you know, just real quick, I'm gonna show you guys how awful my well they weren't like how torn up they were. Like they weren't bad gloves necessarily, but they're just really messed up. Like like look. They're super dirty. This one's this one's not that bad. This one's kind of like starting to rip but this one look there's there's holes in it like you guys see this there's holes in it one of the fingers is missing this one it's just really beat up and i got these like brand new Dean marie band from sport and cycle and and as 
as you can see, super grippy. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And um, if you found this tutorial helpful, then go ahead and let me know in the comments. If I missed anything, let me know. And I will see you guys next time.